Welcome to our lesson on plotting and interpreting real life graphs. So in this question, an electrician charges a £20 fee, which is a call out fee, plus £30 per hour of work. And we've been asked to complete the table of results to show the total costing when we've been given the time. So if we work for one hour, we have the £20 call out fee, plus one lot of the hourly charge which is £30. So we have a 20 plus this, which is 30. So we pay £50 for one hour's work. For two hours' work, again, we pay the call out charge, which is £20, plus now two lots of 30, which is the hourly charge. So 20 plus 60 is £80. Do you want to try and work out the cost? For three to six hours work you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready okay for three hours well we have the 20 pound call out charge plus now three lots of 30 pound hourly charge which is 20 plus 90 which is 110 pounds and now we can see a pattern where we are adding 30 pound on for every increased hour so this will be 110 add 30 which is 140 and then 170 and then 200 and we can check this works for six hours we have a call out charge plus six lots of the hourly charge which is 20 plus 180 which is 200 pounds so now we're going to model this relationship between time and cost on a graph. So you can see that when we have a time of one hour, we have a cost of 50. So we can plot this here, a time of one hour and a cost of 50. So we plot this point here. And for two hours, we have got a cost of 80. And for three hours, a cost of 110. Do you want to try and plot the next three points? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we have 4 and 140, 5 and 170, and 6 and 200. And we can join these points together to make our straight line graph. And you can see from the 0 hours, we only pay the £20 call out fee. Okay, let's move on. So the question C, we're told it takes 3 hours 30 minutes to complete a job. And we're asked to work out how much the electrician would have charged for this time. So we have three and a half hours here. We go up to our line and then we go across. And you can see that will be £125. And for question D, an electrician charges £155 for some work. How long did the work take? So we go across at 155 which is approximately here. We go to our line and then we go down to the time. So you can see here we have approximately four and one half hours work. Okay, let's move on. The instructions for cooking different weights of meat are we cook for 40 minutes per kilogram plus an extra 20 minutes. So do you want to try and complete this table of results and then plot the graph using them solutions? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So when we have a cooking weight of one kilogram, we have one lot of 40 minutes, which is here, plus the extra 20 minutes. So we have 40 plus 20, which is 60 minutes. And then for two kilograms, we've got two lots of 40 plus for 20, 80 plus 20 is 100. And we should be able to see a pattern where we're adding 40 minutes every time. So we have 140, 180, and then 220. And now we can plot these points on a grid. Okay, let's move on to the next part of the question. So do you want to try and use our graph to work out how long it will take to cook 2.5 kilograms of meat? And then finally, for question D, to work out the weight if the cooking time 
is 160 minutes. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question C, we'll go up at two and a half hours, and then we'll go across to the cooking time. And you can see we have 120 minutes. And for part D, we go from 160 to the line, and then we go down, so we have three and a half kilograms. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.